I heard that question so many times, what it's like to be the first woman chef in the United States to all two Michelin star. It's pretty amazing, it's pretty inspiring, it's great for my restaurant because the star belongs to my team. It's also great because putting us in a position that, you know, hopefully can inspire a lot of female cook and chefs out there that, hey, if she can do it, we can do it, you know, so it's a good thing. My name is Dominique Ren. I'm the chef and owner of Atelier Crane in San Francisco. The fact that I didn't go to school and learn how to cook, it's a good thing for me because I can see the world of cooking differently. This dish came, uh, I was walking the dog. I saw a nest sitting on the branch and I'm like, wow, this is pretty cool. And then I came back here. I didn't know anything about the ingredient I was gonna use. I did a drawing, basically. I drew a nest on the branch with some soil and then eggs inside. I'm like, okay, we need to create a dish. And then this is how it came along. I grew up in France. I was born and raised in Versailles. Both of my parents come from farmers. My dad was a painter and he has a little workshop named Atelier Papa Crain. He was about art, you know, he loved art. And so that's what I wanted to create here, a workshop. Like, it's a place where people come together and share ideas and create. So that's what we are. The reason why I opened this restaurant is it's for him. It's a homage to my father. So if you look through the restaurant, you're going to see a lot of different painting that he made. It's the feeling about welcoming people, the warmth of the dining room. It's not just, it's not really a restaurant, it's, it's my house. I think at a very young age, my brother and I were exposed to, to art, uh, to literature, to, to the French culture, to just the world culture. So it's pretty much impregnated in, inside of me. So the way that I write the menu is a poem and it's a story. And my vision is, to have people to come here, enjoy the story. I want them to walk through, you know, my life. You know, life, life is a poem. Food also is very poetic. Nature is very poetic. So why should I write a menu with describing my dishes when I can write a menu where I can tell a story and the dish come with it? So that's what it is. I'm going to make um, a squid dish. I named the squid dish when the broad ocean leans against the Spanish land. Yeah. That's, that's the squid dish. It's poetry, it's poetic. I just came back from Spain and I wanted to recreate the taste and the emotion when I was in San Sebastian. So what we have here, we have the sweetness of the Japanese squid, we have the fat of the lardo. Then what I did here, I made a squid, a squid in puree. So we're just gonna put that on top of it. And then texture, we, we have a little bit of fried kale, fried garlic. And then to finish the dish, we made a consommé of smoky bierco ham and truffle. I just wanted to do like the land and the water, and I came up with this dish. I think every time that somebody eat this dish, the dish is like, what? Really? And then it comes together, so. Beside being in my restaurant, I love going out, meet people, have conversation, eat, experience new restaurant and, I don't know, conversation. I just love it. Mika and Corne came last night. We decided to go out of, you know, in, in the town and just eat some restaurant and bars and just having a good time. Where are we going? Rich, you rich tell me, we're going to Rich Table? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah that's cool. I think we should, and we should maybe like, uh, like um, a cocktail somewhere? Of course. <laughs> So Mika is a great friend of mine. She's everything that you want in kind of a good girlfriend, you know. Corne has become a very good friend of mine. She's the co-chef of Bar Tartin. She's so much fun. Are you excited? I am. Yeah. I am. It's your first been. time. Yeah, I've never, never been. been. What do you mean you never been? I don't get out, ever. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I just work. You know what I like about Rich Table, though, is that you can actually order the fried sardines and you're getting your omega-3s. Totally. And then you could order the porcini donuts and you're getting your vitamin D. Oh my god, perfect. <laughs> You've thought it all through. Oh yeah, so health-oriented. Oh my god. Malfunction. Oh yeah. 
So I decided to take Mika and Corne to Rich Table because it was it's just a restaurant that I love. I love even and I thought that was that would be very fun. This is very casual uh, place, but it's also the food is so creative and it's so yummy. What are you guys looking for? Yes, sir. Good food. Yeah. yeah. Do you want me to just pick for you? Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm Evan Rich, the chef and owner of Rich Table here in San Francisco. I know Dominique because she started coming in when we first opened. She's got friends in town, she brings them in, she lets me cook for them, and we have a good time and we've developed a good relationship. We opened this place up because we wanted our friends and family to come and enjoy what we did for a living. So we want you to have a good time when you come in here. There you go. Here's some more quality time. Yes. 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 The cuisine is pretty eclectic. So it's very much what Evan is about, and it's just very fresh. It's about the ingredient and it's right there. Depending on where you're from, you know, things are, are better, like out east, maybe seafood's better, but here in San Francisco, vegetables are king, and produce kind of rules what you do. Ability to get amazing produce is just so easy. If you don't take advantage of it, you're kind of not doing it right. Excellent. These are the snow peas with the and grapefruit. This is the tartare, it's got potato and speckled romaine. These are the asparagus with buckwheat and kale. Porcini donuts. No, it's yeah. so healthy. That's vitamin D, vitamin D. Donuts. D. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, sliced tomato with pop sorghum sorrel, and then we finished it with a little white chocolate a la Pascal Barbo. That's so beautiful. Yeah. All right. Ooh. That wheatgrass is like so beautiful. Eat up, ladies. I'm gonna absorb this alcohol. <laughs> I like that dish with the snap peas. It's a very spring dish, very fresh, very nice. Oh, oh my God. This is such a gorgeous dish. We just season it with a little salt and fresh Meyer lemon juice. So raw greens and creme fraiche. It just really brings out like a peppery, spicy kind of flavor. We're gonna finish the dish with the ruby grapefruits and the nasturtium flowers. What I love about this restaurant is it's so it's so inspiring. And it's nice because the menu is constantly changing, so even if you live in the neighborhood and you come here all the time, you're not getting the same dish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who says girls don't eat? Everything was just lovely. And I had also two glasses of wine, so I can't remember it that much. <laughs> Open your mouth, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh. Sorry. It's like, it's sex in your mouth. Amazing. <laughs> My favorite thing. We all like sex. <laughs> sex in your mouth. <laughs> Get some cheese right now. Oh, gourmet and more. I know. Have you been there before? No, I can't believe they're saying. Oh my it. God, they have like amazing oh, cheese and. Oh, Laurent nice and his wife, lovely people. They own a place called Gourmet and More, and this is a French pizzeria. And this is where I go get my cheese. I feel that I'm back to France because all the cookies and all the amenity there, it's like what I grew up with. So I love, I love them. We, we want to make like rich cheese sandwich tonight. Okay, so like, we're gonna... Like, like just nice. Oh yeah. Three yeah. cheese? Yes, yes. Yeah, three cheese. Should we do four? Four. Four, four. 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 Like, Give me like something that funky. like... Yeah. Funky, funky and punchy, you know? Oh my God, that's gonna be funky. so amazing. Yeah, funky. Oh, beautiful. Oh, wow, look at this. That's amazing. Which one yeah. is this? That's Echiba, it's uh, like uh, 6,000 uh, 6, feet and it's cooked in uh, copper, raw milk, one village. Oh wow. Oh. Super good. It's incredible. Oh. I know. Oh my god. This place is amazing. Why are you doing that? This is my place. Oh yeah, man. This is Oh my god, this is like how old is this? Two years old. Really? Oh wow, my god. look I'm gonna at this. I'm going to try to cut it. Okay. Show us how it's done. Ball. Sheep. Wow! Woo! Smell, smell 
this. Do you get excited about this still? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Mm, it's special. nice and like salty and sweet and creamy and sweet crunchy. And creamy and crunchy and crystal like, you know, I get the crystal in mm. my mouth. It's amazing. Wow. Alright, so let's go. Alright, let's get going right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, look at this. We got a nice. stash. Yeah. We decided to go uh, one more place, and it's a new place called Trou Normand. Trou Normand. And I'm very interested about this word Trou Normand because in the past I used to call my uh, palette cleanser Trou Normand, and nobody understood what it was. And for an American bar to use the word Trou Normand, I was wanted to know the story behind it. And obviously, you know, it's a Calvados best drink and. I was, I was interested and I was impressed that they did that. Make a little uh, nip of brandy between my ears, as far as like if you have a long dinner. It's called the Trou Normand because you're making a hole in your stomach. You know, yeah, yeah. When I heard about you guys, the, the name, I was like, whoa. I used to do a Trou Normand with, with my testing menu and I used, it was like mm -hmm. about, you know, Calvados and Apple. Yeah. That was, you know, the, the, the palate cleanser. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I love that word. <laughs> Attention. Very Thank soon. you. Yeah. I kiss you from across the bar. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank Very you. Soon. Well, those cocktails were incredible. Delicious. Incredible. I love me some brandy. I'm feeling like so happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Are we we're going to eat some grilled cheese. Yeah. Are we going to Atelier right now? Yes, yeah. we are. Love we, we are. Yeah. We are pretty much here. We got some. We got grilled cheese for the entire San Francisco Bay Area. Woo! Oh my God! Where is my favorite cheese? I think the yeah. moment pretty pretty great. Everybody was like walking. I'm not sure about Mika, but once again, she's 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 not in the kitchen. She's she's a writer. Um. <laughs> oh my God! She's such a girl. Look at the way she's writing. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! Okay. She's such a girl. That is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, what's up, baby? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, I'm gonna put the first green sandwich in the oven, Chef. How, how does it look? That was amazing. That looks good. Oh, man overboard. I hope you guys didn't scrub this down yet. Okay, let, let's open the beer right now. Where are the beer? Whoa, what do you mean? I was not drunk yesterday. Was I? Uh, oh shit, look at this! Oh my god! This is good TV! Maybe I was I was um, I was having fun and uh, I hold I hope I hold myself properly because I'm a very proper person. Oh my god, look at that shit man. Oh my god, oh, yeah. look at this. Oh shit. Wow. This is very nice. No, it was fun, of course, yeah, I had, you know, we had, you know, a couple of glasses of wine and we were just having fun, you know, I was happy. Are you really a proper person? I am. Really? On TV, yeah. Hey, Kone, Kone, go on. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, my God. First of all, thank you so much for tonight. Thank you for Corne. Thank you for Mika. Evan, the food was amazing. Yeah, yeah, Evan. Come on, let's do it. Evan, Evan, Evan. Cheers. Good night. Good night.